Now that we have our motors taped and we have our tether wire soldered to the motors, our next step is to use the wax to seal the motors to keep all the water out. Since we are building an underwater vehicle, that's really important for us to do. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is open up your toilet bowl rings. Now toilet bowl wax is great for this because it's just the right th softness or thickness at room temperature and it doesn't change a whole lot like a lot of other waxes do. So what you're going to take is a ball about the size of a nickel. Now before you start, check your hands. If you have any jewelry on that you may not want to be picking toilet bowl wax out of later, now is a good time to take that off. Okay. This isn't bad for you, it just is a little bit slimy when we're all said and done. Okay. okay. So we are going to now take our nickel sized ball of wax. Okay. And we're just going to work it a little bit just to make sure it's nice and we get it all over our hands. And then we're going to take it, make it kind of into a ball shape and you're going to stick it right over the shaft of one of the motors. Like that. Yep, like that. Now you're going to do is smash it down until it makes about a quarter inch thick disc off the face of the motor. And then you're going to shape that so it's kind of flat up the sides. Yep, you got me to touch the wax. <laughs> okay, so you're going to go ahead and play with this until you get about quarter inch tall. And relatively clean on the sides. Okay. Wax is sticky. It's nice and warm. Okay. And now you can go ahead and put a little bit of wax on the side. And once you have that ready, you're going to take this and stick it right into one of your film canisters. Okay. Make it go all the way down. Pretty good. Good. So you're ready to take that and stick it right through the bottom of your film canister. Okay. Make sure you let the shaft align. Now, once it's in place, just going to put your thumb and press. And you'll see the wax kind of squish and seal itself right in the bottom. So get it in place, and all you need to see is that bottom quarter inch where all the wax contacts. Just a hair more. Don't be gentle. There you go. See, now you see that seal all the way around the bottom. Now it has little. Nope, a little bit of bubble there. The bubbles on the side, those are all fine. Okay, so now you're going to take some more wax and you're going to put them on the back side of that motor. And you're going to put that wire all the way up to the knot down in that pile of wax that you're putting in the back side of the motor. Here, and that's use, to prevent uh, it from pulling out the solder. Let me use some of my wax okay. over here. Thank you. Yep. Okay. Just coil it. Yep. And then put another little ball of wax right behind it to help hold it in position. Now go ahead and slide your cap over. Line it up and squeeze. Okay. okay. Now what we'll do is we'll take a look. And what we want to see is a wax line all the way around. We're a little bit light in here. Okay. So we can just pop the cap off again and squeeze a little bit more right down into that. Now, one of the things you're looking for is the amount of shaft that comes out the end. Okay, so if you need to, all you need to do is put your, finger, your thumb behind it. How much shaft do you want coming out? You want to see, and you can take a look at comparing it to a motor that you haven't put in yet, you want to have three quarters of that shaft coming out. Okay, okay? so if you do end to end like this, you can see about how much is inside the canister. And in this case, that's just about the perfect amount for us. Okay. Now, whenever you're doing this, it's always nice to work on a disposable tablecloth because no matter how good you are at this, you're always going to get some on your work surface. So in this case, we're working on a nice paper uh, work surface. We'll be able to throw this away when we're done. So once you've finished your third motor, almost, um, go ahead and 
go ahead and take your toilet bowl wax ring, put it back in the box, and then you can start wiping yourself and your motors off. And you're going to wipe everything off two or three times. So once you wiped everything off once, grab a brand new clean paper towel, re-wipe down all your motors. When you get to the shaft area of your motors, when you wipe them down, what you'll want to do is a lot of people have a tendency to take this and wipe and pull off the shaft, okay. right? Because you're like, oh, let me just keep wiping this off. Every time you do that, you grab the wax from inside here and you drag it down the shaft. So when you go ahead to wipe the shafts, you want to do it side to side and that will stop you from spreading new wax. Because you're always going to have a little bit of wax where it comes out of the container. What you want to do is get it as clean as possible on the shaft so that we can be prepared to attach our propellers to that next.